live from Daffy's Studios in Eddieville, Kentucky. It's time for another episode of Darfizi's Game Quarter. Tonight, Darfizi is heading to feudal Japan, where it's set in Shushima, an island off the coast of Japan, I guess. Where you play a samurai who has to fight off against a Mongol invasion. Never know those two ever came together. I mean, cool. Your host, Darth Easy. Hello, Easy Nation. Welcome to another episode of Darth Easy's Game Corner. Guys, I hope everyone's having a uh, good February so far. Um, so, yeah, this is like my... This is my second game corner of the year no my third game corner of the year so i'm kind of i'm kind of impressed with myself i've beaten three games this year so far and i hope to continue the streak i mean i think that's my, my max reviews for video games in a year i think it's maybe three or four and now that i've really i'm at four reviews this year but i can't really consider spyro last year because i beat it last year and you know game corner this is my first year so you know this year i started off i played final fantasy 7 then i moved on to star wars squadrons that was a really simple one so i mean i'm not gonna give myself a lot of credit for that one and then i moved on to ghost of shushima the game i've been looking forward to play for so long but i was waiting the price to jump down and really i should have bought this game over last of us part two when, uh, because I was like, I just bought Last of Us and I'm not really playing it. I want to beat Last of Us. I never went back to Last of Us 2. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get back to it eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Eh. Alright, so, so I've been looking forward to playing Ghost of Shushima forever. I have a co-worker at work who just raved about this game. And, you know, ever since I first heard about, it's going to be inspired from Kurosawa's work. And I've been wanting to play this game forever and when it finally came out you're just like you know usually when they're when they're usually there's so much hype around a game you're just like oh it's, it's gonna suck probably it's gonna be disappointing i i am happy to say this game did not disappoint because i could not put this game down my tv reviews will is an example because I none of my TV recap episodes came out on Sundays the last three weeks. Because I was absolutely obsessed with this game. And this game is awesome. So what is Ghost of Tsushima? Ghost of Tsushima is a samurai game set sometime during the medieval Japan era. Um, it's sometime during the Mongol invasion. So whenever, it's sometime after the events of Jigas Khan, because I believe the main Khan character is a grandson of Jigas Khan. Which, you know, that could be anybody, because Jigas Khan had, like, thousands and thousands of, I don't know, thousands and thousands, but he had at least a thousand ki children. Because he just, that's what he did, he went from town to town and just... <laughs> Like that, I believe there's a statistic that one twelfth of all human DNA has a little Jigas Khan in them. He just he he liked to party, but you play this. Uh, so the the Khan armies comes to Shushima. Shushima is the staging ground before they get to the mainland, which is Japan. So you have this you have this samurai force who has to meet against them, and all the samurai you play as a uh, young lord as Jin uh, Saitai, Saitai, who gets who he is at the battle. He's at the beach, and he is uh, he is with his uncle. He's his adopted son to his uncle, and. Hit the samurai force gets wiped out, and you become the last person of the sam of the samurai against these Mongols. And the Mongols don't play fair; they don't play with honor. Like the first samurai that meets the Khan challenges him to a duel, and he just lights the samurai on fire and cuts his head off. And you're with no honor, nothing to it. And so you play this character who realizes we can't. I can't win. I can't beat them the traditional way. I have to beat them with... Uh, I have to be... I have to play their games. I gotta get into this terror business. And so that's what a lot of the game gets into. You have to go off and fight these uh, Mongols. And it feels... I've said this I'll say, I've said this in my review. My video review. Which will be out Saturday if I remember to upload it. But... It feels a lot like Breaking Bad, where at first it's hard to do these illegal things, the things that's breaking your honor, 
killing somebody without their without them uh, facing you. Uh, you're just like, yeah, that's it's it's awful. And then as the game goes along, it becomes second nature to do it. And then like at towards the end or towards the second act, he starts to uh, he has his ideas like, what if we use the poison and completely drives them off our land? And he's like, no, that's not the samurai way. He's like, he's like. People, our people are dying, Uncle. If we do not do this, they will die. And is it better? And so you have the Jin character who he, you're just he. It's the line from Star Trek that I love, that I always love. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Yes, you could have saved your honor. Yes, you could have done this, but you uh, you would have let hundreds and hundreds of people die. It's better that one person's honor is destroyed. And the whole islands of uh, able to stay alive and move on with their lives. So I like that and how he's kind of feared. And I love like some of the stance. The gameplay of the game is awesome as well. I thought it's cool that you had these different stances that are better to fight with different weapons. Uh, Mongol enemies. So you have like the Mongol enemies that uses uh, the swords. You use your traditional stance. Then you have stances that enemies that use a spear, you'll use that stance. Then there's ones with the spears, and then these big brutes that use axes and everything. And I thought that I thought that was cool. That uh, at first you're just like, okay, this is a little overwhelming. But then you introduce all these kind of ninja out, uh, things with like kunai to black powder bombs to sticky bombs to the blow dart. Uh, I was like a blow gun. That was kind of cool. And then you also have a bow and arrow in there as well. And it just, I just thought the gameplay was was very fun, very satisfying, and it felt like. The best Assassin's Creed game I played in a very long time. That's not linked to Assassin's Creed at all. And I'm completely fine with that. I thought the game was so fun. The, the sneaking system. The stealth system was, was great. The armor. How you can customize your uh, clothes. I thought that was very cool in the game. And I just like the story. I like the characters. I like the Jin character. He, is he the most charismatic character? No. And that could be looked at as a weakness. But for a character that's supposed to be a samurai who eventually becomes a Ronin. And that relationship with his uncle. I mean, that ending was sad as hell, man. I mean, you're just like, these, these two love each other. And and he but the main guy he has lost his honor he's no longer to serve and he and he even realizes that whenever at the end you have the chance to duel you have to duel your uncle and you have the choice the uncle wants you to kill him but you just my character my decision was not to kill him because i just that would completely break the character and completely destroy his morality and he's like it's like do the honorable thing. He's like, I don't have no honor. You told you told me myself, I have no honor. I like that line where the uncle says, "You have no honor," and says, "Yes, and you are a slave to yours." I just thought this game, I thought this game was incredible. The gameplay was fun. The story was good. The care other side characters, like I like how all the missions are set up, and I like how you do a mission, and then the title shows up in the middle, kind of like a classic Kurosawa film would show up, and then just. I thought this game, this game completely nailed everything that I wanted to do, and I will totally play a second Ghost of Tsushima. If there's another one, I will play it. If there's not another one, cool. I'll play this game in a, probably a year or two, maybe, uh, when I'm out of games to play, and I'll completely enjoy this game once again, because I enjoy Ghost of Tsushima. Definitely one of my favorite games of this generation. And yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. So guys, what are your thoughts of Ghost of Tsushima? Where, where they are, comment below. And I guess I will reveal my next game, as I always do. But sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. My next video game that I am going to be playing is going to be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I started this game channel as a way to talk about Assassin's Creed. I started off with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I did, and then I went through a months last year where I did uh, Origins, uh, Syndicate, and also Odyssey. And now I'm going into Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm going in with a little weird expectations because I'm not the biggest Viking guy. I like the Romans. I like the Italian Renaissance. I like the American Revolution. I really like the last game. And I don't give two craps about, about Viking stuff. I liked uh, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, 
and the Thor stuff from the Marvel movies, but that's all I know about freaking Thor and all that. So, well, I'm going into it very uh, hesitant because I want Assassin's Creed to go more to Eastern culture instead of keep staying in the West. We'll see what happens. So, guys. Make sure you check out uh, all my other podcasts. Make sure you check out my TV recap podcast every Sunday or later in the week. It depends how hooked I get into Valhalla. And our next game corner will be out when I beat Valhalla. So it'll probably be a while before. It might be another three or four weeks. But hey, don't, patient. good things happen to those who wait. And guys, until next time, all too easy.